Okay, I'm going to take this last question and that's it. Really? Thank yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah, I, I just wanted to um, just uh, ask a question about um, Zionism. I think um, it, it's interesting how Zionism is often sort of portrayed as a sort of conspiracy theory. And I feel like a lot of what you've said sort of plays into that. And I think not enough is said about American imperialism. You know, so if you look at the history of Zionism, actually, it wasn't a single ideology, it was a movement. And mm -hmm. you, know, you can see all around America, for example, the youth movements that existed, the Zionist youth groups and organizations. And there was a lot of diversity in, in what Zionism actually meant. Yet it's portrayed by even Israelis today as something singular, as though it was always from the beginning about creating a state called Israel. And why, why aren't we focusing actually on American imperialism? And why aren't we focusing on the fact that the people who say that they represent Zionism today, the, the Israeli leaders, are actually mi misrepresenting that history of Zionism and, and, and aren't even, even people in Israel who still identify as Zionists, like people like rabbis for human rights who are helping Palestinians and doing a lot of very good human rights work, they can consider themselves Zionists and their own government is pursuing policies under the banner of Zionism that are not in, in, in their interest. They're not about security in the way that the American government's policies are not about American citizen security. And, you know, actually more powerful, you know, than the Israeli, Israeli lobby, in my opinion, is not that powerful at all, is the American um, energy company. Okay. 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 Thank you very okay. much. I, I, I will address it very shortly. To start with, you are really misinformed about what I'm saying, because one of the most clear and one of the clearest points about this book is there are no Jewish conspiracies. And that, sorry, you, I'm sorry. No, one minute. One minute. Was responsible for the invasion Excuse of me. Iraq. If you listen to the article, I didn't say it. You're here. I didn't say it. You know and. Uh, Try to listen carefully. I pointed out that, there are, that, that Lord Levi, who is a rabbit Zionist, was number one fundraiser, and this is a fact, at the time this country was taken to, to a war in Iraq. You will have to find out. This is not a conspiracy. This is mainstream news. This book is suggesting that there are no Jewish conspiracies. Everything is done in the open. Sorry about it. Now. The issues, you are also very misinformed about Israelis. Israelis don't regard themselves as Zionists. They don't even understand what Zionism means. There is at least one Israeli that I know here, we did, and, and, Oren, and Oren is Israeli, and my wife is here in Israelis. We didn't, you're Israeli. We didn't really know what Zionism is. We didn't, we don't, we didn't know what Zionism is. Why? Because Zionism was the belief that, uh, that, that we can transform the, 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 the Jews into an authentic, civilized human being. But we were born in Israel. We didn't need Zionism. We were the post-revolutionary product. So, so Zionism, this is very important, and it's very important, you know, a place to, to end this meeting. Zionism is actually a Jewish diaspora discourse. And it allows few Jewish anti-Zionists to fight with many other Jewish, Jews, Zionist Jews, and they have their own battle, and this battle is completely irrelevant to Palestine-Israel conflict. It's a matter, if I want to be polite, I say self-indulgence, but if I want to be slightly more precise, it is a form of masturbation. And this is what it is. I thought we'd end on a high note. And I'm sorry, <laughs> but by, by the way, by the way, but, but, but it, I, I tried it once, and it, it's not that bad. But, but, but the, issue, the, issue, the issue here, the issue here, the issue here is that for, for 40 or 50 years, or at least for the last 30 years, we were subject to this nonsense. We spoke about, the left told us to talk about colonialism, imperialism, about Zionism, and all those issues are unfortunately completely irrelevant to the conflict. It is human beings, and dealing with human beings is a completely different intellectual endeavor. Thank you, Gilad. I am now going to stand up for one minute and close the meeting with these following words. First of all, thank you all so much for coming. 
I think, for me, it's been a very interesting meeting, and I can say that I've learned some things. I hope you have too. And uh, I know that there were certain people trying to stop people go in, coming in, but you know, I think on balance it was a good meeting. I just want to issue one little warning, and this is me coming out of my impartial role now, because the meeting is finished. Gillard said earlier on that he's never experienced anti-Semitism. Well, Gillard, I have. Uh, I am as old as the State of Israel, and I can tell you when I was at school, when I was five, six, seven, and around there, I experienced a lot of anti -Semitism. I can't believe it. And my way of dealing with it was humour. Other people's way of dealing with it was crying and going back home and telling mummy and daddy. I did not like to do that. Um, I lost 59 members of my family in the Holocaust, and I do not want to see any race or nation being eliminated for any reason based upon their race, religion, separateness, or anything. That's why I personally think that Zionism stroke the State of Israel has lost its way because of all the people who should know about how to treat other human beings, it's that lot. Unfortunately, for a whole variety of reasons, too long to go into now, they've lost their way. So I want to end up on a funny note, which is this. Uh, Gilad sent me this, and so I'm not claiming credit, but I'm going to say it for you, okay? Mm. Those of you who may know that there's an expression in Judaism and Jewishness called oive. Oive simply means, oh my God, what's happened now? Oh dear me, oh no, what's happened? A complaining kind of, you know, oh dear, oive. And uh, the Community Security Trust, which is a very serious organization that looks after the security of Jewish synagogues, cemeteries, and so on, has set up a new app for your phone, which will, don't ask me how it works, enable you. I have it. You have it. Yeah. Which will enable you to immediately contact the CSD, the Community Security Trust, so you can say, where are you, who's doing what, and report it in, and someone will come. And so therefore, hopefully, you'll prevent any bad incidents. And it's called the Community Report. Or something. CST Report. CST Report is what they call this app. And so Gilad said, well, I think it's a wonderful invention. But maybe I can suggest a better name for it. Maybe you should call it Ive. <laughs> like iPod, <laughs> iPhone, Ive. And I just think it's a fantastic name. And yeah, so on and, that and note, I want the royalties, you know. And he wants the royalties <laughs> as well. The CST. And he wants to sell a few books. Yeah. So basically, yeah. I think uh, it's been a lovely evening because it's a great tradition, and certainly we see the rabbi on the end here leading in this, this tradition to encourage debate, encourage discussion within the Jewish religious tradition. It's encouraged, and therefore we want to encourage debate upon this very delicate subject and bring people out because we know that there's a better place to move to. Thank you very much, and good night. And thank you. So much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good. Go sell your books. <laughs> yeah.